everyone hope you're doing well it is tuesday it's quite muggy um just been clearing out a bit more gonna go once luna's been for a walk she goes for a walk in just over half an hour i will go and do a couple of errands i have to mail out the uh, phone case i'm i sold on poshmark and uh go over to target yeah I think tomorrow is Avon Day, so I'm just cleaning up this campaign, which is campaign one, so I can get going on campaign two. Start sharing the link. Oh, which reminds me, I gotta go change the link in my description box so it doesn't take you to the wrong one. But yeah, have a wonderful Tuesday, my friends. We need to send love and prayers to Suzanne. And her family, unfortunately, her beautiful mom passed away last night. I got a message from Suzanne this morning. Um, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I, I just used to love watching Suzanne's vlogs, especially when she was with her mom in the car. And they would be having little chats and stuff. Her mom had the best sense of humor and she had that cute little accent. Um, but my heart goes out to you, my friend. Um, and we're sending lots of prayers your way. Okay, we're gonna go do, oh, drop my thing off at the post office and then go, Ashley wants to get glitter. It's like an hour and summer away. Oh, and here comes the heavy rain, always. Well, it did say noon, so I guess it is on time. <laughs> That's true, it's 20 past right now. So I'm not gonna put you up, well, there's nowhere to put you, we're in Ashley's, Ashley's car. Um, but yeah, it seems like every time we go out lately, it's raining. I do have my jacket with me this time. I'm just in a r array of colors, mind you, but never mind. Oh, so I didn't know if I said where we're going. It's an hour away. It's the glitter shop. Post office is done. We're at BP. It's $2.99 here, which is more than it is at Wawa, but we didn't go to Wawa because we're about to go back on ourselves, come back around, and we're on the way to the glitter shop. I think it's Hippo Glitter or something. Um, yeah, we're at PP. Oh, I can say, I can't see any. There you go. Still in Florida. Now, this is the first area I've seen all the, or noticed all the lines above ground. Our neighborhood, everything's underground, which is great when we have those storms. Miss Maddie's in the back. Let's see if we can see. Just see a little head in the mirror. There's more roundabouts in Florida. This one's massive. Go, go, go. Not used to seeing them. This one reminds me of the one up by Mum's. Except it's more lanes than this. Going onto different highways and whatnot. Yeah. Look how dark it is, guys. We keep hitting rain clouds. Oh, look at all that. Yeah, it's very, very angry looking, as mum would say. There was another one. We, at least people in Florida know how to drive on roundabouts. Six point two miles. Turn by no one ever goes down this. Just kind of big old body of water. It does. 
gone back up. Yeah. It's because we're nearer to Disney and stuff. Yeah, and it's like the one gas station you see, so they're like yeah. up it. In the middle of nowhere. Pulse is pouring. Okay, we're heading back, but we are going to do a little detour. Um, to the British Pub and Cafe because it's not far past Disney Springs and we're going to meet Jack and Jared there one day but seeing as we came all the way up to Al Lake Alfred I'd love to see if there's anything up there because I thought London Pride was close by but it's not so we're just going to stop in on the way back um, seeing as we're kind of going to pass it we're only 15 minutes from him now and luckily it stopped raining. When we went in, they had a power cut, so the store was quite dark. Yeah, first I thought they were closed. closed. Could you imagine? All that way. Well, I say all that way, but what, an hour and 20 minutes? Yeah. It's just the weather. It, we took longer because of the weather. Um, but when they got power back while we were in there, it was all good. But then a thunderstorm was overhead and it was pouring, and I thought we're gonna be sitting in the parking lot for a while. Ash wouldn't have been able to see two feet in front. Yeah. But look at these homes. It's all yeah. Oh, these are actually homes. Yeah. They're all pastel colours. Pastels. Anyway, we did see a truck had broken down. <coughs> so we're gonna be stuck in traffic for a little bit, but it's the only one. So. Oh, we're getting off right here, so ha. Uh -huh. But it's the only way home anyway. You can have whatever you want to eat here. There's a Denny's, which I've been dying to go to. Cause last time I went to a Denny's, I was with mum. Burger King, Waffle House, McDonald's and Wendy's. So if you're ever on this route, whatever it is, you're spoiled US for choice. US 27 North. US 27 North, you're spoiled for choice. Okay, looks like we've made it to where it is. See the sign, so I know it's in here. In here, yeah. Oh, it's right here. Oh, yeah. With the big telephone. <laughs> Destination the is on the left. Oh. California Boulevard. This is <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Everyone, this is weird going to a different. It's British customers only. To a British place that's not the ones I'm used to. Best of British customers only. I thought I read it when I first read it. I... Okay, oh, I'm a bit of a mess, aren't I? We got home about 15 minutes ago. I've just made a nice cup of coffee. I haven't eaten yet, so I should probably think, well, it's going to be dinner now, not lunch, because it's already five o'clock. But I just went on my Avon site, and I just want to thank... Where are you? Alice... Thank you so much, Angela and Kathy. Thank you guys so, so much for placing Avon orders through me. I really appreciate it. I didn't expect to come on and see that. So I really do appreciate it. Um, keeping my little business going. Thank you, ladies. All right, it's 6.30. We have eaten. Um, Ash and John have just gone over to Target. We were going to stop on the way home and we forgot. Um, so Ash has gone because there's something she wanted for the glitter i think um some stickers to put on she bought a bunch of little bottles so she can put the glitter in and then she can put the name and the number of it so that way she'll know what she needs to refill when she needs to refill it um i got cut off when i was saying i um showed you outside the british store it said british pub and cafe customers only and when i first went in i read it <laughs> british public parking only <laughs> you have to be british to park there. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> that's what happens when i read things fast i am exhausted i am so tired driving up there when we kept hitting the rain i wanted to go to sleep i just kept couldn't keep my eyes open i had a bit of a restless night last night um but ash wanted to go she doesn't like to order online she likes to get her stuff and then have a look at it um right away but like i said when we were in there they'd lost power and then the power came back on and then there was a huge storm overhead it was thunder and lightning and i thought oh we're not even going to be driving yet because um 
Ash wouldn't have been able to see right in front of her. It was tipping it down, but it soon passed. And as you can see, it was quite a pleasant ride home after that. Um, I would have shown you in the British pub and cafe, but because I don't know them, I didn't want to start blogging in there. Um, it is quite cute. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there, but if you're used to Myers of Keswick and the Hamlet in New York, it's not a lot of stuff, if you know what I mean. I think theirs is more of a pub cafe. They had two big freezer fulls of bread and bacon and sausages, and that was great because I got more bacon and I got a loaf of bread. I like getting the bread because I like that better for toast. It doesn't break up and get all soggy um, when I put my Marmite and butter on it. So I did get a loaf of that. I've put it in the freezer because what I do is just take, I don't have it every day, obviously. So I just take it out as I need it so it doesn't go bad quickly. Um, the bread over here, my mum used to always say this. I know I've been speaking about mum a lot lately, but I've been thinking about mum so much. I think about her every day, but this last week I've really had a hard time. Um, I don't know if it's because we're in the new year, um, but today is also the anniversary of me, anniversary of my Aunt Sheila's passing. It's a year today that my Aunt Sheila passed away. And I just remember mum talking with mum and how upset she was when Aunt Sheila passed and my brother and Ricky came down and they went with mum or came up, I should say. This is, I don't even know, but they went anyway. Ricky flew in from Amsterdam and, and Steve, so they went together to Aunt Sheila's funeral. And then, you know, two months later, two and a half months later, because Aunt Sheila's um, funeral was actually in February. I think it was the day after her birthday. I think so, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, mum saying, I can't believe she's gone. I'm like, I know, because Uncle Mick died a couple of years back and it's just like, what's happening? And then just two and a half, three months later, mum's gone too, so. It just, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't get easier. And that's why my heart is broken for Suzanne. Because that feeling, you know, it's just not nice. I mean, that's an understatement. I don't even know what I'm saying, because if I say too much, like, and I think that's why I've been having such weird dreams this week, because mum has been on my mind a lot this week. Um, I've been having a little bit of a tough time this week anyway, which is the reason I've been thinking about mum so much. Um, but we're getting there. It's just, you know, you see and you think, I don't know. I didn't tell you guys, um, Pete's coming at the end of this month. Not, obviously not to see me. Um, coming to see Ash. Um, they have, she has friends in Melbourne and he said to Ash, Melbourne's about an hour away. She goes, yeah, I know exactly where it is, where I bought my car. Um, so we know he's, I've known for a while that he's coming. I won't see him obviously, but Ash will see him. Um, but yeah, that's at the end of this. Uh, no, I, I say the end of this month. I think it's like the 1st of Feb or something like that anyway. Um, but yeah, they've run to Target to get a few things. I've asked her to pick me up a couple more of those little pink bucket things that I have in the closet in the bathroom. It helps so much more. Like I said, I just pull out whatever I need, the whole bucket, instead of piece by piece. Because it's the shelves, those iron shelves, things fall. And I could put a ton of things to flatten it out and that and on top. But this is so much easier. You put there's meds in that bucket, there's that in that bucket, and it's easier this way. So Maddie is asleep in her swing. She looks so cute in her little denim jeggings and her um, sleeping with siren shirt. She just looks absolutely adorable. And that kid does nothing but smile. And I just love that so much. 
But uh, yeah, that's our day, guys. So I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everybody had a brilliant, brilliant Tuesday, whatever it is you did today. I hope it was a good one. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Stay safe. And if you haven't, please subscribe.